A congressman was lectured for making unethical statement during a plenary session. Let's find out more about what has transpired on MJ Mudahar's report. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, ano po ang basis ng emergency or Majority calamity leader. sa certification? Madam Speaker, hindi Madam Speaker, naman this already a certification Madam Speaker, coming from the Office of Madam the Speaker, President. Madam Speaker, inconsistent the, po ang... Uh, the Chair na rules the, the point of the Madam gentleman. Madam Speaker, hindi pa pa ako tapos. Madam Speaker, the Honorable Madam Speaker, Manuel is out of order. Madam Speaker, question Majority. of privilege. Madam Speaker, question Madam Speaker, of privilege. Madam Speaker, I reiterate my motion. There is a motion, Speaker, motion of the motion to po, proceed ko, Madam Speaker, with the third reading on House Bill number 898. Inconsistent. So move, Madam Certification Speaker. Secretary General is directed to read the title of the measure and therefore call the roll for nominal voting. That was the scene created by Kabataan Party List Representative Raul Manuel during the voting of the approval of the 2024 National Budget Bill before the House of Representatives. And it didn't stop there. Manuel acted out again after his microphone was turned off. So Abang Lingkod Representative Karafs Paduano came to the rescue and had the inappropriate remarks of the leftist lawmaker be removed from the official records of the plenary. Pinatayin pa po ako ng mic, Madam Speaker. Nakakabastos naman sa mamamayan. Madam Speaker, I move to strike out the parliamentary statement of Congressman Raul. In an interview with SMNI, Paduano explained why he reprimanded Manuel during the session. Sinabi siya kasi sa dulo, Pinatayan pa nga ako ng microphone, binabastos yung taong bayan. And that is not acceptable. That is unparliamentary comments of a congressman in the, as a member of the House of Congress. He emphasized that the leftist congressman's unethical statements were tarnishing the institution. Personal attacks and statements that damage the image of the House as an institution are not allowed in the plenary. What I cannot uh, tolerate is question of language and parliamentary words being used during plenary session. Furthermore, Congressman Paduano pointed out that Manuel's actions violated the House's codes of ethics. When the session resumes in November, Paduano intends to renew the motion to have Manuel's statements deleted. If somebody will file a case, the ethics committee, what will happen to us? It's better to withdraw the Congressman Raul. He apologized, he withdrew it, but of course, he apologized, he withdrew it, but of course, he said to me, before the journal, when we, during resumption, when we, before the journal we approve, I will reiterate the motion that it should be strike out. Meanwhile, the House has decided to divert the confidential funds from civilian agencies like DEPED and the office of the Vice President. Paduano suggested allocating the funds to NTF LCAC instead. Now, kung itong NTF LCAC is the, is the solution for the AFP slowly Making transition, going to external, uh, focusing on external security. Why not give them the budget? Now let us see. After three years, we will evaluate, we will assess. If indeed, tama our request. Former President Rodrigo Duterte instituted the National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict, or NTF LCAC, that is now being continued by President Bongbong Marcos through the use of good governance and battling the country's problem of insurgency. For Ganamabula Philippines, I'm Jay Mondihar, SMNI News.